the galaxy coming to? Huts invading, planets cracking in half, and now that. That... whatever it was. Somebody tell me what that was. It appeared to be a droid, Mayor. Here I was, thinking it was a shiny Wookiee on stilts wearing turbo lasers for a hat. A droid indeed. Now, who the blazes are you? I'm a Jedi Knight, here to protect you on behalf of Shayla Mavesta and the Galactic Republic. Thought as much, but with the lightsaber and all. Good. This mace is already collapsing. Now, I've got wounded people everywhere, and all the working shuttle pads are outside town. Shalem can get more shuttles for the evacuation. What we really need is the one thing those huts won't give us. Time. Mayor, we're getting emergency alerts. The huts are landing reinforcements, mercenaries, and more of those droids. Lovely. I'm the one-legged woman at the droid kicking contest. They're holding the shuttle pads. We'll never get off the Mesa unless someone drives the enemy off. It's a big Mesa. Surely there's another way off it. Those droids are fast, and their weapons have enough kick to take us out from a distance. If you can't handle them, we're dead. Just clearing off the pads isn't enough, though. We need to stop the huts from landing more reinforcements until we've all evacuated. We could erect energy shields, Mayor. Cover the pads so they can only be used for flying out. Solaire, you're actually useful. If we got you some energy shields, could you set them up at each landing pad? You can count on me. Complicated missions are my specialty. I'll clear the shuttle pads and make sure they won't work for the huts. Gather the wounded, prep for evacuation on the double. We are leaving. Take these energy shields. Activate them at the landing pads. Good luck. We'll see you get through that. We're under attack in the central square! Help us! Help! Far enough. Thank you. I doubt even the Force can stop me from pulling this trigger. Best not to try. Please, the next ground quake could destroy this Mesa. Kill us all! Then let's keep the negotiations brief, hmm? We've done no harm to these people. All we seek is the droid's isotope 5 power supply. Mayor, is this Imperial telling the truth? None of your people were injured in the attack? Just a few bumps and bruises to get our attention. Don't much care for having a blaster stuck at my head, though. No time for debate. Let us have the Isotope 5 or we'll be forced to execute the prisoners. I'm sure no one wants that. My only interest is saving lives. Leave quickly, and there will be no need for violence. A Jedi committed to peace. How refreshing. Men, gather what we came for. Thought we were deader than a depleted reactor. Thanks. I'm sure it wasn't easy letting those Imperials go. Ugh, bad enough we're fighting a lunatic hut. Now the Empire's here too? Maybe no one told them the planet's coming apart. We better get moving. I'll tell Shalem to expect wounded. Mayor, good to see you alive. I trust everything is under control? Listen, Shalem. An Imperial strike team was just here. They stole a sample of Isotope 5. How do they even know it exists? One more thing to worry about. We're evacuating Tarlam and bringing the wounded with us. We'll have medics standing by at the refugee center, Mayor. Take your people there. I've set up a new camp near the Ark construction site. You have the coordinates. Meet me to plot our next move. Let's finish this while Taboro thinks he has the upper hand. Where is that fat slug? No one wants to borrow more than me, but we can't go at it blindly. The Republic sent down a top engineer to review the Ark's schematics. He's made some interesting discoveries. Hurry. Ah, you're here. Good news. Tarlem's refugees evacuated safely, and no fresh reports of Taboro's droids. You bought us time, and we'll need it. This is Gazadar one of the Republic's top engineers, and a brave man for coming down here. Couldn't pass up a chance to thank the legendary Jedi who saved Coruscant. I was there when you stopped the planet prison. I'm surprised you know anything about that. It wasn't common knowledge at the time. I heard about it well after the fact. Nothing like belatedly realizing you escaped certain doom. 
Gaz just made it through the analysis of the Ark schematics. I'm sad to report that Taboro wasn't lying. The Ark was specifically built to run on Isotope 5. It's the only energy source capable of pushing that massive vessel through Maked's atmosphere. I still haven't heard a decent explanation for what that substance is. What makes Isotope 5 so special? It appears to be a radioactive variant of Illyrium, unique to Maked's planetary core. From what little I've examined, it's nearly a template element. Isotope 5 can be modified into all manner of useful configurations, including a potent fuel source. But I'm no expert. Then we need the real brains behind the Hut Cartel's operations here. Dr. Juvard Ilip Ogarab. And we know where he is. Whoa. The only five-time winner of the Beodur Science Prize is on Makeb? Are you saying he designed the Ark? Probably those droids, too. Dr. Ogarab has been holed up at the Sanctuary Research Complex since before his people invaded. If anyone knows about Isotope 5, it's him. Why would a hut scientist help us at all? Isn't he with the cartel? Dr. Ogarab is well respected across the galaxy. For a hut, he's pretty reasonable. The Sanctuary Research Complex is one of the most advanced experimental laboratories in the galaxy. It's on an isolated mesa completely under hut control. There's no telling what sort of defenses a genius like Dr. Ogarab has there. And you'll be going in blind. There are data access terminals on Sanctuary's testing grounds. Try accessing one. It might let you disable any unwelcome surprises. Otherwise, good luck. I don't care how well defended Sanctuary is. I'm tougher. I'll have Dr. Ogarab back in time for dinner. I have no plans to feed him. It would cost a fortune. And please, for the love of science, don't hurt Dr. Ogarab. I didn't bring a way to preserve his brain. It's high time you Republic agitators showed up. To borrow his brutes of this entire facility captive. I was wondering if you'd ever bothered liberating it. We're not getting a stable image on this end. Who are you? And how do you know us? Please, call me Lippy. After all you've done to the cartel, everyone on the camp knows you. There are many on this mesa being forced to work as slaves. We would be honored to aid your attack. We possess detailed data on the lethal security grid to borrow installed across the mesa. We'll help you destroy it so you can enter the main complex and we can escape. If you know how everything works and you're on the inside, can't you deactivate the grid from there? Like my peers, I am confined to my laboratory. It required considerable ingenuity just slicing this comm channel. I am transmitting data on several key objectives. Each will provide you ample opportunity to convey your displeasure with Taboro. Stand by. Follow those instructions precisely. You'll not only gain access to the main complex, you'll destroy Taboro's security grid. We'll speak again when you breach the main complex entrance. Taboro's security grid is down. We're entering the main complex. Splendiferous! You've eliminated many of that bully's unforgivably barbaric thugs, but more remain inside the complex. Once you've eliminated them and disabled any internal defenses, we will evacuate Sanctuary. Your heroics are most appreciated, and we will return the favor. It is obvious you came for the illustrious Dr. Ogarab. We're transmitting his coordinates so that you may quickly find him. Best of luck. Anyone who isn't with us is on the losing team. I'm sure Dr. Ogarab is smart enough to see that. Churlish nincompoop. You can see why I was forced to lend my brilliance to your assault. I'm glad you're here. My apologies for the earlier subterfuge. 
a necessary contrivance. Taboro sees control of my defenses and is watching me closely, but I am no one's prisoner. You helped us defeat your own security grid. I thought your people only spoke in Hatties. All Huts can speak your language. We simply choose not to. Given the circumstances, I prefer to avoid linguistic misunderstandings. We have complementary goals. You want what Taboro possesses, and I wish very much not to die here. Provide me with transport off this doomed planet. I will aid your efforts to recover the isotope 5 fuel rods that power Taboro's Ark. You're the only halfway decent hut we've met in a while. I suppose that should count for something. How fortunate for me that my brethren have profoundly lowered your expectations. I have a personal shuttle here. It's large enough to accommodate us all. Thanks to you, we can now fly. We should leave before Taboro sends an army to kill us. Take me to your allies, and I will explain what must be done. Doctor, it's such an honor. I'm so glad we weren't forced to kill you. Don't make our guest any more nervous than he already is. The Republic only kills in self-defense. As I saw in our flight from Sanctuary, you specialize in artful property damage. Now that you're here, what can you tell us about Isotope 5? How does it fuel the Ark? Isotope 5. Tomorrow's great discovery in the center of the camp. Something truly unique in all the galaxy, and worth destroying this planet to obtain. Imagine a substance as light as shimmer silk, but stronger than durasteel. It distorts gravity and electromagnetic fields so predictably that it can be refined into fuel. Isotope 5 has limitless potential to remake this galaxy. Those droids you battled were first-generation prototypes. Playthings. Are you saying there are even more advanced versions of those droids? How many? What are their capabilities? Taboro has dozens of prototype weapons. Their capabilities vary based on whatever creative inspiration moved me that day. I crafted a beautiful set of Isotope 5 fuel rods to power Taboro's Ark. Some of my finest work, but you'll never see it. According to my data stream, Taboro has increased mining production to maximum levels. McKeb's destruction will arrive far ahead of schedule. You have a spacecraft, yes? We should depart immediately. We won't abandon millions of Makeb refugees. You said you could help us get the fuel rods back. That was before I saw the latest updates on Taboro's drilling operations. The mining platforms are massive lasers drilling directly into the planet. Shutting them down would release core pressure and buy us time. Attacking the mining platforms would be suicidal. Even worse, it might kill me. Wait, why do I get the feeling you're serious? What does Taboro have guarding these mining platforms? With a steady supply of raw isotope 5, my former employer can power a multitude of devices designed to exterminate all trespassers. We need to deactivate all of Taboro's mining platforms. That's the only way to slow McKeb's destruction until we can get the Ark's fuel rods. I fear it won't be as easy as flipping switches. The platforms and their control rooms will be heavily defended. Everything on this planet has been an ordeal. They paid to break our perfect record. But don't worry, those drilling lasers are going offline. If they don't, I doubt we'll see each other again. I'll have a transport to the mining platforms prepped for you immediately. Keep us apprised of your progress. <laughs>